In this video, I'll be showing you how to create floors in Revit. So if we go back to our project, now um, the workflow in Revit is that you've got to create your walls and partition your space uh, before you can actually place uh, your floors. So um, given that we've got our space partition and we've got our exterior walls in place, the next step is to actually place the, the floor. Um, to do that, you can do it from the architecture tab. You can also do it from, from the structure tab. So um, under the structure tab, you can select on floor and then you've got an option of choosing between a structural and an architectural. Um, again, if we go back to our architecture tab, if we click on the arrow, for the floor, we can uh, as well select either between an architectural floor or a structural floor. Um, for the purpose of uh, these video tutorials, I'm just going to stick with architectural floors. So click on architectural floor, floor and what you will see, you will notice that suddenly you've got this modify um, tab that appears at the top. Um, on the side over here in the properties panel, we see that by default for generic 150 mil is chosen. Again, just similar to the concept uh, I talked about for walls, um, you can you can have multiple selections for different floor types. Um, but let's just stick with generic 150 mil for now. Uh, again, just like for walls, you can edit the type. So we can go to edit structure and as you can see, you can insert uh, different layers um, depending on how your floor structure is, uh, how you how you sort of, uh, how you envisage the structure of your floor. Uh, we can also uh, associate materials with, you know, with the, with the different layers that we insert for our floor. But for now, just, let's just assume that we, um, Let's just assume that we stick to the default settings. So let's just press cancel, um, cancel over here as well. Um, again, um, to, in order to place your floors, there's two ways to do that. So you can, the first the first method is actually to pick the walls and you know Revit would automatically place the floor for you. So if I were to choose this method, um, and it's, I think it's the one that is chosen by default. So Anyways, if, if, if you don't have your selection on that, just make sure you press it. So it's the pick walls uh, option. And then just go around your building and select the walls. So the outside, the outer enclosure of the building, just like that. So once we've selected all four walls, uh, press on the tick. And you'll notice now that we've got this area shaded, which means that there's a floor that has been placed. Um, if we go back to uh, our 3D view and we can rotate and we can see now that we've got a we've got a floor that has been placed okay so let's go back to the ground floor uh, let me delete the floor and show you the other method so in order to select the floor again just like I talked in one of the videos just keep um, tabbing on the tab key on your keyboard so up and to you see uh, floors mentioned at the very bottom over here. So notice now how when I press tab, so press tab, it changes to walls. And again, press tab, it changes to floor. So, and then I click, it selects the floor and I delete it. Okay, let's reinsert a floor. But this time I'm going to choose this. And so I'm going to actually draw out the floor. So let's assume that I want my floor outside the building. And just uh, you know, create a rectangle um, around the building, and maybe you know, not necessarily a rectangle. This is a bit slanted, so click on tick, and as you can see now, the floor has been created. If I look at it in three D, as you will see, it's it's located outside my walls. So these are the two methods of creating walls in Revit.